Okay, boss. Uh, let me jump right into the thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, actually, I I got a real big problem. Yeah, let's yeah. See Art. We can get done till eleven a.m. when I have an important podcast. Okay, uh, so my, my card expired, so I will get this solved ASAP because I can't fulfill my orders. Yes. Uh, man, a lot of problems, hey. Uh, so, um, can you see my screen? I can. Okay, um, so this is the new product I'm testing, and this is incredible, boss. Yesterday, I got like four or five purchases, like in my first day. Oh, congrats. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah. So like it's slowly paying off. Yeah. And uh, today I got one purchase. Uh, so uh, I, I did your strategy too, or one maybe, the, you know, EU worldwide and USA. So USA, I let it run till $15, $16. Mm -hmm. uh, but there was, unfortunately, there was no add to cart. So I kind of closed it. The job. Uh, but the other ones, um, they were they are performing real good. Like and amounts then, of sixteen, fifteen, and I got. Are those real purchases? Yes, yes. Are oh, not duplicate? No, no, not duplicate. Oh, so the tracking the the pixels working now? Oh yes. Um. So here's the thing. Um. For this one, for the previous one, uh, there is some fake purchase. But this is this is correct. Uh, this one I got two purchases on mm -hmm. uh, the blue pillow. Mm -hmm. so it's kind of dying out. It's not doing that well. Like I can see one's doing good and other two is, yeah. So the like, working now. So the Trackify work, what we did last call work. So yeah, Trackify is working. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So let's scale the number 12. Number 12. What's your break even point on this product again? Uh, that will be, oh my God, uh, $45. Really good. Okay. That's, um, I guess you can double the physical fitness. I'd recommend you double the budget for the worldwide, the one with three purchases. This one? The end of the day. Okay. So do I do it now? Um, you do it around at night time. Night so time. Tomorrow will start with 20. What's the budget at the moment? Uh, $10. So tomorrow you want to try like... Obviously, you don't want to stay up to 12 a.m. and do it, but I can do it. I can do it. So, yeah, just do it um, either. I usually do it from 10 p.m. To, to like 1 a.m. That's the time period where you want to increase the budget. OK. The reason why I like to do that is because then it lets it run at the new budget. Yes. For the whole day, because if you change the budget now, it's 10 a.m. It's already halfway. So you're yes. changing the, the uh, halfway through the day. So I like to wait until the beginning of the day or, you know, 12 a.m. or 11 p.m. to increase yeah. the budget so that the next day it has the $20 for the whole day. I see. I see. Okay. Um, gotcha. Got it. So double this one. And should I double this one too? You have to wait until three purchases. Okay. Okay. Um, so I th I'm pretty sure I got more than five purchases um but yeah okay so this one double it and this one wait and um on these two let it run till because they got active cards so let it run till break even point i guess correct okay and uh, you horizontally scale if you want you can you know duplicate the physical fitness worldwide and do a different interest. That's another thing you do horizontally scale more interests. Okay. So into three, maybe. Um, I probably create maybe two more interests. Two more interests. Got it. Got it. Okay. That's I got it. pretty well, but I think I'd like to take it slow and steady. Okay. Okay. So I will. Uh, so what I'm going to do is. Uh, this one duplicate into two, and uh, at midnight I will double the budget of this one. And if this one gets another purchase, then this one too. Correct. Okay. Okay. I'm on track then. Okay. And uh, the other question I had was like with the fulfilling, but I will get my card ready and then I will get back to you. Yeah. And um, so this is okay. And I was thinking about the other assets. Where is it? 
Oh, great. The other, I think I will kill the, I know the Shiatsu thing, this messenger. I'm only running one because every time I duplicate and other do other things, like it's not profitable. And the only thing profitable is this one, mm -hmm. but this one got few fake purchases. Like it's probably three, not, oh, sorry. Yeah, that's not two, that's one. Mm. But apparently- $26 per purchase is still profitable. Even if it was not $13 for two purchases and it was $26 yes. for one purchase, that's still profitable since your break even point is $50. Yes, yes. Let it run, would you reckon? Let it run to break even point. Okay, okay, got you. And, uh, oh, this one, wait a minute. That's the maximum and then change it to my columns or you can go to the purchase. Go towards the purchase, yeah. The ND01. Okay, scroll down. Tell me which ad set had real purchases. Okay, so this one, uh, probably this one. Okay, why did you kill two broke girls then? Oh, probably that one was the, the same issue like before. Oh yeah, got it. Okay, understood. And then what's your cost per add to cart for that one? Show me your cost per add to cart. For? Two broke girls. Oh, wow, yeah. Was that also zero, I guess? Yeah, maybe it was delayed and, and there was zero add to carts? Yes, yes. Got it, yeah. Because I think with your really big break even point, since you're really profitable, it allows you to run things for much longer which is like a good advantage. Hopefully then it becomes more extensive because yeah. you're letting it run for longer. Um, but when you have a big break even point, like it's, it's good to let it run for a bit longer, but I think you've already been doing that. So it's Oh yeah, so I'm kind of doing like a $8 to, I'm doing around a 14, 15 ish dollar. That's better. That card. And um, yeah, it's kind of going pretty well so far. It's, I know it's a bit of budget, but you know, got to do what you got to do, you know, been getting results. Yes. Yes. Um, and, uh, currently uh, I will probably get my card ready. I'll go to the bank after you, after the meeting and I'll be like, I'll probably beg them that, Hey, I need a card. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, then I will probably test new products. They're all ready. Like uh, there I've set them up already. So like, all I have to do is like, uh, like upload them. And uh, I'm not doing it at the moment because I can't fulfill the orders now. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of like in a pause. Are the ads still running? Uh, is the yeah. card stopped it? Well, um, it shows this one, but apparently it's running, I guess. Okay, yeah, you definitely want to change the card ASAP because if it's doing well, yes. you want ads to continue to run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, and yesterday I was doing my accounting. So yesterday I did a the whole thing like January, my progress, I tracked yeah. my progress. And uh, uh, um, so January, uh, yesterday, uh, I saw my progress, the total income was $2,096 and total spend was 3,400. But I think that's okay. Like I'm, yeah. I've How never got that many sales in a month. How much of a loss is that? Uh, 1,300. Okay. So that means roughly around $50 a day. Yes. Yes. I can afford that. I'm pretty sure next month I will catch up. Yeah. That, that's good that you're doing the accounting. And I think a lot of people are scared to do the accounting because they don't want to <laughs> see the loss. Oh. But like the reason why I ask is because if you visualize the negative 1,300, yes. you sort of know how to improve and what to work on. And it also makes it more real and you're not sort of sleep, you know, in dreamland. Yes, that's true. And uh, and one more thing, I see that there is a transaction fee in my bank. So I re I thought that maybe I'll get a debit card platinum and which says that there is no transaction fee. Would you recommend that? Is it for, is it, why is there a transaction fee or, or what is the transaction fee for? Is it because it's USD or... What's the reason for the fee? So when I purchase uh, from AliExpress by my Commonwealth Bank, mm -hmm. 
And then I can see a transact every time I purchase, there is one amount, and then there is a transaction fee of like 0 0.5. On AliExpress, do you pay in Australian dollars or USD on AliExpress? Probably AUD. Oh, oh no, USD, USD. Okay, now you should, when you do order fulfillment, you need to change the currency to AUD. Okay, okay. Ha. Then there will be no transaction fee? Correct. Oh, okay, I tried, but... Okay, okay, I'll... Um... I've got two minutes. If you want to quickly go to AliExpress, I can show you now with the two minutes we have before my important podcast. <laughs> okay, uh, well, all the best for your podcast. I will... I see your videos, uh, YouTube videos. Uh, I have commented in one of them. There. On the English at the top, English, USD, next to wish list. Yeah, change the currency to AUD. AUD. And then done. That's it. Now everything you order and fulfill will be charged in Australian dollars and you won't have any fees. Oh, okay, great. So nothing to do with the card, hey? Yeah, nothing. Okay, okay. Um, okay, last two minutes. Oh, and I was wondering, like, since I'm doing $1,000, $2,000 in my card, do you think it's, is it a good time to get a credit card to get my score up? Yeah. Um, I'll, I highly search American Express Discovery. Search that on Google now on the screen, American Express Discovery, because this is a free one. American Express Discovery. American Express Discovery credit card. Discovery card. This one? And uh, another thing, I was thinking to separate my bank account with my business and my personal. Yeah, but that's actually a good idea as well. Click on the American, Ex the second link, the second one. Actually, yeah. the first one, the first one, actually. Yeah, that one. And I'll head off in 30 seconds. <laughs> talk soon. But yeah, this card is free and you get points and it builds your credits. This one? Yeah. Okay, I'll find my way to apply this and... And then change all things to this one. And then... Then you just start paying things with this one. And Facebook ads and just whatever you... Whenever you spend money, just spend it on this. Okay, okay. We'll Perfect. talk to you All right. Good talk, Andy. Have a good one, man. Congrats Thanks for your help. Sales. I'm really <laughs> excited for this new potential winner. Yeah. Oh, I will. I will, man. Thanks, man. Have a good one. Likewise.